Yep, that happened. I'm writing, 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 writing in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to begin preparations to well, for the next great American road trip. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do on the roof. Okay, before you congratulate me on my parking skills, let me show you what we're going to do here on the roof. I purchased uh, this uh, Togo system. It's, a, it's, a, it's an antenna for internet on the road. And um, my original idea was to put it up here, but they emphatically said that you have to put it exactly in the middle of the rig and within 12 inches of uh, each side. You know, they weren't like the nicest about it, but it's fine. So I'm gonna have to put it here. This is the only piece of real estate I have left here because of this solar panel. I'm not gonna remove the solar panel. And they said that the air conditioner would only have like a minimal impact on the signal. So that's what I'm gonna do. I also have to fix the water drain valve. The first thing we're gonna fix is uh, this valve that broke. I put a new one. I don't think it's exactly the same, but I think it'll work. Yeah, this turned into a little more of a chore than I was expecting. Perhaps because I don't have the correct tools. Well, here we go. I was able to kind of get it in. And I think that's as good as it gets. <laughs> well, let's fill up the tank, see if there's no leaking, and then I'm going to sanitize the fresh water tank, which I haven't done in a while. And I know a lot of people, they use just uh, chlorine. But I think I'm going to do it, you know, the, the recommended way. I have this, um, no, this is toilet seal, hold down, drain valve, a lubricant, that's not it either. Uh, this is the blue stuff I have here. This is the cleaning and there should be another one that is the... Yeah, here we go, yes, I have a big mess with all these uh, fluids uh, down here. But I've got this, this is the fresh water tank sanitizer and the cleaning. Uh, solution. I think the cleaning goes first and then you do the, the sanitizer. So I'm gonna do that now. You, you have to fill up and empty the tank like three times. So this is gonna take a while. All right, filling up the fresh water. Not a whole lot of water pressure here. And uh, let's make sure that, yeah, I guess it's in the, in the closed position there. And this would be the open position. Okay, so it works. And I don't think I have a leak but I'll be monitoring because this metal part I wasn't able to open it up so I just kind of forced it in. I mean, it's, it seems to be pretty tight, so we should be good. Oh yeah, there's a nut on the hose here. That's why the water pressure is so low. Here we go. Still, that's gonna take a while. So while the, the, the water, while the fresh water tank fills up, which as you can see, it's just empty. I'm gonna put some WD-40 on this door because it is, it, it is not working properly. You know, it's one of those things when you don't use the RV for a while. I think I sprayed some WD-40 on the lens. Yeah, this RV lock is starting to show its age. But, yeah, still works well. Well, yeah, that's a beautiful sound when it closes properly. So step one, cleaning, uh, empty the tank and add one ounce of concentrated, oh, I have to empty the tank first, detergent for every four gallons, fill tank with water, oh, I was supposed to add this first, okay, let me stop. I have a little over 40, 40 gallons, so I'm just gonna do like 10 ounces, probably what's left in here. There we go. Now I'm supposed to fill up the tank completely and then run this water through all the faucets, you know, so it cleans all the, all the plumbing inside. I guess that's the idea. And it looks like it might rain. This sort of thing always happens when I want to do a, an RV project. <laughs> oh, and I want to put that, that Togo antenna on the roof today. We'll see. The good thing about it being a cloudy day is not as sweltering hot as, as it usually is here in South Florida. In uh, what month are we in? Oh, today is uh, in June, June 1st. Incredible. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, let me turn this off uh, real quick. The fantastic van, fan, fantastic van, fantastic fan, so we can talk. Uh, and um, now the, the fresh water tank is full to the brim. 
So um, let's just. Uh, it says to open up each of the faucets. Let me turn on the. Let me turn on the water pump here, and just turn on the faucets and uh, and let it run for a little bit. And uh, it's, it's a little bit of soapy water that is going to come out, and that's fine. You see. Now let's run it through the water heater. Yeah, my battery is probably really low. That's why the. Yeah, that battery is getting killed, but it doesn't matter. Let's just run it through all the faucets. We'll even, uh, you know, flush the toilet real quick. I think by now we've run the, the soapy water enough through all the, through all the pipes there. So now the, the next step is to drain the tank completely and fill it up again <laughs> with the other uh, chemical that we have there. Now we empty the tank and this is going to take at least 20 minutes I think. This let's read step two. And my eyesight is not what it used to be. Apply or circulate if possible to wet all, all surfaces and allow minimum of contact of 60 seconds. Well, that's gonna be draining for a while, so let's tackle the antenna project. Well, allow me to interject here real quick, coming to you from the future, or the present rather, recording this as on September 1st, 2019. And what antenna project, you might ask? Uh, well, I decided to go with the Togo Road Link system, which uses a WineGuard antenna and a prepaid on limited AT&T data plan, which might be the best deal in the market as of mid-2019 here. Uh, it ends up being $30 per month, but the catch is that you have to prepay for the whole year, and the unit itself costs uh, $400. So not a cheap initial investment, but stay tuned until the end for my impressions after three months on the road. Uh, as you can see, my real estate here on the roof, I'm running out of real estate here on the roof of Minitini, let's put it that way. So I sent an email to, to Weingart asking them if, they, if it would be okay to, to put the antenna on that corner or somewhere around there because I don't want to put it too close to the air conditioner because of obvious interference and they were both borderline rude on that email they sent you back like, don't you dare, you will void the warranty and wind shear and all that. So. By the way, the, the guys at Togo were much nicer. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I'm gonna put it here, as far away as possible from the air conditioner, and I think that's gonna work out. Okay, so I've got my my dark my die core here ready, and uh, let's go for it. Yeah, that fresh water tank has been draining for two hours, so I decided to do something else. Meanwhile, uh, something else according to the instructions, they recommend that I open another hole here in the roof of Minitini, but. I think I'm gonna just try to, to push this cable through, you know, my 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 fridge uh, vent, which is what I've been using in the past, and it's worked okay. So, all right, let's screw this baby to the roof. Four more little holes here, and uh, and then we'll see. I'm gonna start by putting die core on the four legs, and then putting it on the on the on the roof as they uh, as they um, recommend. And of course, they recommend that the wire goes towards the back of, of the trailer, I guess, to protect it from the wind and the elements and... Uh, and, uh. and that's it. Let's just get on with it. Yeah, the diker is almost melting before my very eyes. It looks like a fresh water tank finally finished draining, so believe it or not, that took a couple of hours. So now let's, um, I'm just gonna fill it up a little bit and add that other. Yes, the water sanitizer. I'm gonna disconnect the solar panels so we can work on the electrical systems. Well, I don't know if the camera was recording, I removed the refrigerator vent and I fished this cable in and I'm gonna try to fish it in from the inside now. And my neighbor thinks everybody likes his music for some reason. 
Ooh, it's been one of those days. I've never been so hot in my life, but we're back. And I, I'm sorry I didn't show you how I did it, but this is what I did. And I still haven't installed my, my charge controller back, but I put the switch here. This switch is for the, for the Togo. And uh, I connected everything to, to, the, to the line that goes down to my battery. And now the Wi-Fi Ranger, my USB on the top, and uh, the, the Togo are connected to that line. And uh, hopefully we won't uh, blow anything up. I'm going to see if I can set up the Togo now and, and I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, I have sweat, gallons of sweat. But as you can see, the internet with the Togo, not great, huh? Let's see. Not great at all with this uh, first test here. And this is using the... It turns out the signal strength where I am is really bad. So this is hardly a conclusive test. Actually, I've been now on the road for over three months and uh, I've gotten much better results in some places. Okay, first internet speed test. Epic fail, but as you can see, I only have like one bar of 4G LTE here in my house. So maybe when I go uh, to a different location, it is better. Follow signs for Toll Road, Homestead. Well, going down to the closest campground to our home in Miami, that's Larry and Penny Thompson. On Florida 874 South. Larry and Penny Thompson Park is a county park, Miami Dade County. And uh, we're gonna leave Minitini there for a couple of days right before this long trip, so you know I can come down and, and get stuff ready and all that. So um, and I'm gonna put some stickers in the back of Minitini. Here the plan was to test whether the new GoPro would work with that waterproof USB jack I put on the roof, but no, it makes it crash. Well, it is infernally hot out here. Um, it's not so hot as the humidity, you know, you know how it is in South Florida. I'm drenched. So I changed my mind. I was going to do like, like uh, add the rest of the stickers today to the camper, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back tomorrow morning and um, maybe do my morning run here in the uh, in the park and then come back do this i might uh, repack my my bearings but a very nice park larry and penny thompson uh, memorial park here in the, this is about 20 miles south of uh, miami proper as you can see this very nice park i mean this is this is huge uh, space here for especially for south florida and we've got full hookups and it is like 33 and change. Yeah, 33, the magic number. So, um, yeah, we were here like f almost four years ago for the first anniversary of Minitini. Our first RV-versary we painted here, which happens to be the, the, the only campground which is relatively close to Miami. Well, while we're here, let's explore the park a little bit. It looks better than the last time we were here, but still, you know how romantic people graffitiing a heart in the rock. So it's rock art. The beach is closed. I don't know if it is a seasonal thing, but the last time we were here, it was the same way. I guess this would have been the beach which is closed uh, seasonally, according to them. Although it does look like it's been closed for a long time. Sunset is upon us. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna go for a little run here. a relatively short run today 
about a mile only. <laughs> it's, it's infernally hot again today is 9 a.m and this is a very nice uh, I think most of the trees are mango trees it's a mango grove here just outside the park I hope you can hear me okay you know that uh, we know that that this GoPro the, the audio is not the best but the stabilization is and um, by the way epic fail on us as a as a trailer cam on the, on the roof of Minitini yesterday but I'm working on it all right let me get back to the campsite and and we'll uh, uh, put those stickers in the back of Minitini. Well, I don't recall if I mentioned that or not, but I do have a few stickers to add here to, to our growing collection, to, to Minitini's Hall of Fame. Uh, let's call it that way. And I'm going to begin with some fellow Pelican heads, some fellow YouTubers, uh, fellow RVers, who have sent me uh, their stickers, and I'm missing one. It's probably still in my back pocket. This one, most appropriately, it says, uh, Eat, Sleep, RV, Repeat. And we're gonna begin with that one. And I think I'm gonna put that one right next to Lydia here, right next to Simply RVing. Is it crooked? I hope not. If it is, you know, I have a little bit of astigmatism, so that's probably why. Um, I think I'm gonna put off the hook. Next to this, I don't know. And I have also bikes, uh, boats, and bivouacs. I'll do this one right next to uh, Lewis, rolling airship. Since it is square and it kind of goes with the, with the square theme motif here, maybe I'll put it here. I got some bubbles, hold on. I got one bubble there, I'll fix it later. And then I've got this one, land and sea of the hook RV, the way to be. Land and sea, the way to be. And I'm feeling, I'm, since it is kind of like a slogan like this one, Vanning ain't no joke, I'm gonna put it right next to to vanning it, no joke. And don't worry, I have, I have more stuff. I have more stickers. I'm just going in batches here. I got some air bubbles. Let me see if I can fix it. Nah. You know what? I'll come up. I'll come with a with a with a pin later. And I'll just uh, I just burst those uh, air, air bubbles. Um, let me go back inside and bring some more stickers. Okay, I have a bunch of more stickers here. <clears throat> let me start with this one. And uh, someone sent me this nice pelican here, and uh, I think it is only appropriate to put it right next to the Florida Keys, because you know Florida Keys pelicans fly pelican. It kind of makes sense. And that's a nice quality sticker too, you know. You know, some of some of them along the years, one of these days I'm gonna go through all my stickers and tell you the story of each one of them because they all have a little bit of a different story. Well, I'm thinking, I, I wanna do an homage to old Kia here. So I'm gonna add one sticker. This is a collector's item because there's only two of them left. And uh, the, the, this is actually when I started writing thank you in the back, it kind of, looked bad so I kept it and this one I want to put right next to Zion National Park in Utah just because it is up here and it's right next to free in my RV Sorry. oops Then I got this one. This is bunnyandbutters.com and they do stickers. They would do a bunch of stuff. And, um, and I, I like the, this one. It says, keep it simple. So uh, let's put it right next to... Actually, let's put it here. Keep it simple. My only fear is that this keep it simple doesn't look very waterproof. So we'll see how, how it holds up. Now the same bunny and butter sent me this one. These are the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is one of my favorite areas in the country. And since the Appalachian Trail and Stone Mountain Park are kind of in that same area, I'm gonna put this one, the Blue Ridge Mountains, uh, right next to those. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that this is not gonna uh, last very long, but hopefully it will. Well, I have a bunch of these that are like um, 
you know companies that at some point or another have you know uh, sponsored me like easy start for example if you that that's the, the the device that i have on my roof on the air conditioner and that's why i can run it with a small generator so maybe easy start this is by the way this is boeing from south carolina a very nice uh, gentleman he invited me to to dinner once uh, he 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 worked at Boeing in South Carolina. But first, uh, okay, easy start. Let's do easy start. By the way, if you go to uh, microair.com and you get an easy start, just put the promo code MYRV and you get a discount and I get a commission. So uh, there's, there's your commercial right there. So I'm gonna put easy start right down here. And let's call this down here like maybe the commercial section. It's not very visi visible, but uh, you know, for, for example, I have a North High Brewing Company and they sent it, they're, they're located in Columbus, Ohio, and they sent me a bunch of beers, some very good beers, actually. I look, I'm looking forward to visiting them when I visit Ohio. And North High is going to go right down here. And down here I had another sticker that left this indelible mark there, but it was one of those stickers that fell apart for some reason. Not all stickers are, uh, are as durable, nor, nor are they, you know, some of them they just disintegrate in the heat or in the with, with the with the water or when you get an aggressive car wash like less stuff more freedom i'm just leaving that one there for now um i don't know if you remember him his his name was happily houseless actually one of these days i'm going to tell the story of all my stickers but happily houseless he had a youtube channel and he, he the, the whole the, the whole story was how he sold his house and bought the rv and uh, and the, the process, you know, this is probably five years ago when, when uh, he had this one and uh, this channel. And then he got married and then he deleted his channel and he started a new channel called Avert the Herd, but we never heard from him again. Okay, this is Mountain Life, mountainlifeshop.com and they sell, you know, outdoor gear and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to put that one right down here. And now here at the bottom, Winwood Brewing Company and they, they brew, they, they have very good... Uh, beers and they're a brewery here local from Miami they, they're in, located in, in Wynwood and there's a bug bugging me okay I have some other stickers in there but for now I think this is a this is a good collection and uh, yeah I might start you know filling up this area down here eventually the, the whole the whole back of the RV is gonna be let me see if I have any other um, any other one that I can actually I had one here in my back pocket here we go. This is the Trail Ninja and it has a YouTube and a Facebook. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. What do you guys think? Okay, let me let me let me remove the camera from here. Let me tell you a little bit of the story of all these stickers going from the bottom. And actually the first one, actually the first sticker that I ever put was of course nomadic fanatic uh, he's being and this is like the old old vintage nomadic fanatic sticker from probably from 2014 i don't know this is probably one of the newest when it's faded a little bit but this is south of the border which is uh, in between north and south carolina and not uh, mexico but they do have that for mexican motif and he, here we have just incredible tv keep on rocking in the free world this is my buddy uh, brian wood <coughs> rv illustrated this, uh, the, the, this gentleman that I was talking about, less junk, I mean, less stuff, more freedom. Uh, he kind of disappeared from the map. This is the original living the RV dream sticker from John and Kathy Huggins. This is RV Texas, y'all. They have a, a YouTube channel. And here are different places that I've been to that I really like, like the Florida Keys, for example, Stone Mountain, the Appalachian Trail that, that was at, at um, Amicalola Falls State Park, Death Valley, Zion. Route 66, of course, Finland, the North Cape in Norway, and uh, nothing gets higher than NASA. Okay, here coming down, we have that Vanning A, no joke. This one I got from a guy at, um, at Quartzsite. He just happened to be passing by and he just handed me the sticker. I'm like, cool, I'll put it. Here's Van Life Sheldon's Travels. That's Mike and Stephanie. They have a YouTube channel, very nice couple, very, uh, and they live in a very minimalistic way in that little, uh, Pro Master City Camper Van Kevin, of course, you guys probably know who he is. Element Van Life, a young guy, he lives in a, he lives in a, in a van. He recently changed vans. He used to have an, a Honda Element, that's why Element Van Life. Uh, these are the ones that I just put today. Of course, this uh, traveler, he's our mighty moderator in the, in the live chat on Fridays. Uh, Eric, a good friend, and Lucky Dog. 
and Bob he lives uh, he lives uh, also so in central Florida by the land and uh, he and Sue and actually they were nice enough to organize one of my first uh, meetups the one that we did in Daytona Beach Brewing adventure van man and this guy uh, started probably five years ago in his van and then he does van life same as rolling earthship that's that's uh, my buddy Lewis and uh, this is one of the ones that we put today Scott's this is a uh, uh, Lydia simply RVing uh, listen to your soul simplify and go and and she and, uh, and Lewis are a couple and okay here we go this is Modigasi Travels. He's, he used to be a work camper. He used to, I haven't followed him in a while. I, had, I have no idea what he's doing these days, but I'm going to look him up. Reduce World Suck. That's a Wanderlust Estate. That's another classic sticker. I don't think he makes those anymore. And this is a classic. Remember Chris and G from Chris and G Travels? And uh, uh, well, now he's the off grid, the off grid schoolie. Find your freedom. This is from from Find Your Freedom, from Josh and Kaylee, of the Freedom Theory. And, uh, well, the rest, you know, because, okay, this is the one that, that John Langman uh, gave me when I visited South Carolina. And that's about it, I think. That's all the stickers, plus the ones that I installed today. It's quite the collection, huh? Here we have some magnificent aerial views of the campground. And that over there, with the white dome, I believe that is Zoo Miami. downtown Miami way up there on the horizon actually this over here I believe this is Kendall and that's Miami and way out there in the distance that's Miami Beach It is time to hit the road. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. 